how did Marshall win over not only Story, but other Jeffersonian justices? Marshall's appealing personality had obvious benefits. He had a knack for remaining friends with his political opponents. Patrick Henry crossed party lines to support him during his race for Congress because of their mutual affection. And because of Marshall's pleasant temperament, he remained on good terms with justices whose politics were less moderate than his, from the conservative Federalist Samuel Chase to the Jeffersonian Republican William Johnson. As a result of his ability to reach political compromises on the court, Marshall's chief justices, justiceship was marked by a remarkably high degree of unanimity, accompanied by little dissent. During his first 10 years as chief, Marshall wrote 90% of the court's opinions. The exceptions were cases issued when he was writing a circuit in which he had a personal interest, and the rare case when he dissented. Marshall would even modify his own opinions in order to gain approval for his opinions for the court. He didn't dominate the court's thinking by force, but instead established and maintained an atmosphere during conferences that was conducive to compromise. So just as he'd won over his political adversaries, Marshall also won over his fellow justices, who were mostly Jeffersonian, through his judicial temperament, devotion to judicial restraint, and commitment to compromise. 